I'm Pastor Salem, and I welcome you again to the Christian Worship Hour. We're going to have a wonderful time. We're going to be worshiping the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And I just want to thank you for opening your home for us, sir. Sometimes we hear from truck drivers, and they open up their truck. And we even had one man feeding cattle, had a radio in, uh, in his uh, tractor, and listened to us. So wherever you are, thank you for opening the door, and we're going to worship the wonderful Heavenly Father together. In Christ I stand. God bless you, Jan. That's just beautiful. Well, we're reading from John chapter 14. These are the words of our Lord, beginning with the first verse. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. And whither I go, ye know, and the way ye know. Thomas saith unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? And Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Let's look to the Lord. Heavenly Father, thank you for this wonderful salvation you've given us through your through the, the, the gift of your son going to that cross and shedding his blood. And we're th so thankful that we can know that we are saved because you give us that assurance through your word that he who that hath the son hath life. And when we receive you into our life, we have eternal life and we will never perish. And we don't have to be worrying whether we're going to heaven or hell or what's going to happen when we die. We can have that wonderful assurance that Jesus is ours and we are his and we're safe forever. Oh God, help everybody worshiping with us today to be sure their faith is in that wonderful Savior and that they have that assurance. In Jesus' name, amen.